What's going on guys? Welcome back to another stipulation draft here on Magic the Gathering dot internet slash schminternet. We are going to do another stipulation today. It is by Relax and Sam, although I was known as Sammy. And uh, the stipulation is Lord Stip. Can't draft any commons or uncommons. Lands, mana sources are exceptions. So we're basically drafting mythics and rares. Um, and I just went over it with Sammy and I'm pretty sure that if there's no... At least, I'm, I guess I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm going to assume... That if there is only a, um, if there are only uncommons and commons in the pack, <clears throat> pick only myths and rares. Is that what I said? Yeah, that's what I said, right? Can't draft any uncommons or uncommons, and I can only pick mythics and rares, right? Um, but I'm pretty sure there's not going to be packs with no rares or, or mythics in there, because I think there's a much higher concentration of those than anything else. I just like covering my bases because I don't want to be in an awkward situation where, like, I pick the wrong thing, and then... <clears throat> and then it's awkward for everybody. So. All right. So when we're looking, I think these are also sorted by rarity. So like we can pick Volras Stronghold and Forward. We can't pick any Charter Chorus, Cloud Goat, Rex Sage, Trigon Predator, Vampire Hex Mage. Um, one interesting thing to keep in mind is that we're probably going to be unable to pick any uh, like enchantment or artifact removal because a lot of that is 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 utility spells at a specific rarity, right? So that's interesting. Um, also hurts fixing for green. I can see taking like Geist of Saint Traft and being like blue white Cheons. I can also see taking Steam Vents. This actually feels trickier than I thought because you have a lot of utility cards at the uncommon and common spot. Also, like if we took green, um, yeah, but you see, like if you're if you're drafting red, you're gonna lose out on like lightning bolts and chars or uh, lightning bolts and, and chain lightnings and things like that. But I can see being like blue white. I can see like being a, a planeswalker deck. That actually seems great. I'm gonna start with steam vents because I don't know what we wanna really which which direction we wanna go. So these are the five we can't take. Everything else is going to be uh, pretty open. Stoneforge Mystic, if we take it, is going to be pretty decent with um, all the equipment. Most of the equipment. All the equipment is actually rare. Um, I'm going to take Stoneforge and hope that uh, Hollowed Fountain comes back or Explosion Expansion. And Gideon seems good if we're white. And it looks like I want to be. Shambling Vent, also pretty nice. We can be four-color non-green and just play all the cool Planeswalkers. Or we can just play green. Like, and again, nicely, these are the only three that we are unable to take. All the cards are in order, so it's going to start with Mythics. And then it's going to go down to Rares. So, I guess it's just Gideon here, I think. Could be Shambling Vent, too. I kind of just like picking up good. If they're good dual lands, I think that's okay. Hmm. But then again, like we have a steam vents already. I'm gonna take the Gideon. I think I'm I, I think I'm eyeing toward Jeskai here. Drowned Catacomb. Dragon Skull Smummet. Nissa's nice. Master Law and Hunt is nice. We could be Vendillion clicking. I almost I don't hate Anafenza. Although it's it's a little awkward with the mana base here. <clears throat> I think we want to take the Drowned Catacomb here. Um, both of these are black, but I think they're good enough to take. I don't think we want Nissa, like, not with this. Uh, Nissa's also extremely heavy green. This is double. I think we're just going to take the Drowned Catacomb. Overgrown Tomb, eh? Oh, Watery Grave is, is very, very nice. Um, I don't really see anything that I'm super stoked about. I either want Creatures or Planeswalkers at this point, and I'm going to go with the Watery Grave. It keeps us out of green. Unfortunately, can't take Conclave or Chupacabra. Clifftop Retreat? That's pretty nice, too. Oh, uh, I actually like Lyra here, though. I'm going to take the Lyra. We actually don't have any red. We could be Esper, so that's fine, too. Uh, Sulphur Falls is nice. Terminus also pretty decent with a Gideon. I could see taking Terminus and just being a control deck. Yeah, let's take the Terminus. I don't want to take the Sulphur Falls only because we have no incentive to... Ooh, Gideon Jura is nice. 
Yeah, we'll take the Gideon Jura here. Um, Sulfur Falls is nice because... It, it, I mean, it's not nice, but we didn't take it because we have no red cards yet. Needle Spires. Geist of St. Traft came back. That's interesting. If we're going to get swords, let's take Geist of St. Traft, actually. Again, no red yet, so... Oh, Expansion Explosion did come back. Okay. That's playable. Lava Claw Reaches, also keeping us in the... All right, we're doing it. <clears throat> I like this Gideon better than I like Brightling. I think that was the pick, so. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit comes back. I'm not going to take the Anafenza. I'd rather just have the fixing here, and I think we're we're in good shape to be. We, we're, all of our lands are Grixis. All of our cards are white. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I think we'll be all right. I think we have two packs left, and this is a decent amount of fixing. Um... I like uh, Thunderbreak's double red, but I guess it doesn't matter with the, the deck we have now. Revel Arc seems actually pretty good um, because if it gets Terminus away whenever it leaves the battlefield, we can get Geist or Stoneforge Mystic back. Uh, I'll take Affliction here. I mean, three of our lands are red fixing lands, so we have no reason to not be red. Ye old gutter bones. Wow, I think we have not a single uncommon or common here, which is nice. Uh, our limit is these three. These are out. So we can take Through the Breach, which is a sick card. If we hit that Emrakul, we can also just put in a Revel Arc and then get two creatures back. I actually like that a lot. I think the upside on Through the Breach is much higher than Aurelia, and uh, you want to keep in mind that Aurelia might come back because it's not a super highly drafted color uh, combination. No one's really going for the, the Esper, or the the Boros deck. Magister of Worth, also pretty sweet. I think we're going to take the Coalition Relic and hope the Magister tables. Yeah, Coalition Relic's pretty insane here. Pretty sure this is actually just playable. Even if we just use the expansion side to copy a removal spell or a counter spell. Ah, oh, Ewalds is a mana source. That is a good point. I don't think I'd take it because I'm not a big uh, Evolving Wilds fan, but it is good to know. It is good to keep note of that. Oh, Seraph of the Scales. That seems great. Oh, so does Obnixilis and so does Gristlebrand. I don't think we're a Gristlebrand deck. I do like Obnixilis and I think Seraph might, Seraph might come back. I also like Resto and Duplicant and Tamiyo. This pack is pretty nice. And we also, all of our five, four of our five lands uh, are able to fix black mana. So I'm going to take the Obnixilis here. I like Angrath a lot. Wow, this pack is also nuts. Uh, Angrath, Creeping Tar Pit, Damnation, Opposition, and Time Warp. I don't think it's these. I could see an argument for Damnation, but we do have Terminus already, which is fine. I like Angrath a lot, actually. Especially with Relic, because our five drops become less... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Angrath. Our five drops become less um, problematic. But Devil's nice. Ancestral's nice. This is a nice way to deal with artifacts. It could be difficult on our mana, but... I mean, I don't think Sword is great. Ancestral's fine. Yeah, I'm going to just take the Bedevil. We have Coalition Relic. I think we also have like a million fixing lands. Ooh, Plateau and Flooded Strand. What do? I think we're going to go with the Flooded Strand here. This gets everything uh, because it can get a Water Grave, a Steam Vents, or the other one, a Plains. Ideally, the, um, the other one comes back. Uh, Toxic Deluge is real nice. Sphinx's Rev is also pretty good. We have Explosion Expansion, though, which only really costs one extra mana. I'm going to take Toxic Deluge here. Relaxin' Sam, so you might say you're relaxing. Oh, do we... I don't know that one. I said relaxin', and she thought I said Alexa. I think we take Nicol Bolas here. I 
I mean, we could also take Elspeth. We could also take Vraska's Contempt. <clears throat> I just want to be Nicol Bolasing, though. And the Aurelia did come back, which is pretty nice, actually. It's just a 2-5 with Vigilance, basically. Uh, don't care about that. Magister of Worth came back. All right. Uh, the Seraph did come back. So we basically got everything we wanted here. If the Plateau comes back, I'm going to be really thrilled. <sighs> Damnation, also fantastic. Um, I almost like Time Warp because we have a bunch of Planeswalkers. Gideon, Gideon. I'm going to put Geist over here. We're actually pretty heavy Mardu here, which is kind of funny. Spear of Heliod. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I really want that plateau, but I don't know if it's coming back because it's just a it's just a dual land. It's really hard to get dual lands to come back. Container Priest is actually okay. We can sideboard that in. Is that green enchantment that lets you cast Planeswalkers for any color still on? No, I don't think Oath of Nessa is still in here. At least not to my knowledge. Our mana base seems sweet, but we do want more blue spells. We also want an equipment for Stoneforge Mystic. Garrick Apex Predator. That is a blue gentleman. I like Jace, I like Shieldred, I like Glacial Fortress. I actually don't like Grimonolith because our color restrictions are so high, but I still think it's good. Like, you can ramp into this guy, into one of these, into any one of these. Through the Breach and Stoneforge are... Um, I'm not a big Rift fan. If you got, you were here for the last draft. Like, Rift just... There's a lot of times where, where Cyclonic Rift just... If you aren't casting it for 7, it's kind of underwhelming. If you're able to cast it for 7, it's fantastic. Uh, I probably just want Glacial Fortress here, to be quite honest. And if any... Like, there's a lot of cards in here that we can get back. I think we want White Fixing, though, like, pretty badly. I also think Dragonlord Silumgar is fantastic for our deck. So I'm going to take that. And then if, like, Riftwing Cloudskate or Chromatic Lantern comes back, I'll be pretty okay with that. Well, Sword of Body and Mine is a sword. Godless Shrine is a white source that we can get with Flooded Strand, which is super nice. I'm going to go with Godless Shrine here. I just want to make sure our mana is on point. Like, we have a lot of a lot of heavy requirements in this deck. Uh, Soren Lord of Innistrad. This is one of my one of my favorite Sorens. So I'm going to take that. Have you ever been too high to queue? I've actually never been high, period, so... That would be a that would be a big no. May come as a surprise to some people, I bet. Oh, bloodstained mire! Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's an extremely easy pick. That gets a steam vents. It gets us water grave. It gets us uh, godless shrine. That's really nice. Oh, Immortal Sun. That's not where we want to be. Um, so we can take everything but the Shiv and Fire here. I kind of like Day of Judgment, but... We already have Toxic Deluge, Damnation, and Terminus. Uh, Immortal Sun's pretty bad. So I think it's actually just... It might just be Inspiring Vantage. We could also take Hellkite. I think it's, an, I think it's Vantage here. I don't think we want day when we have damnation, toxic village, and terminus. We already have three three board wipes and magister of worth. We have four four board wipes here. <clears throat> Vindicate seems fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna take Vindicate here. That's nice because we're looking for removal like this. I think we're gonna end up putting through the breach in the sideboard. Oh, we can actually bring malicious affliction, and I think our mana base is good enough for it. Don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? That's actually wow. That is a that was a solid adamant reference right there. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, I like Fumigate. Thank you. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. 13 months in a row. That is a good amount of time, dude. Uh, I don't think we want another four drop. I think we'd rather just have Fumigate. Maybe just play it. Maybe just have four sweepers. Five sweepers, technically. No creatures are safe. Yeah, I could see cutting Rebel Arc. <clears throat> oh, Doomblade and Spellskite and Baleful Strix. This Baleful Strix is uncommon, but I'm pretty sure it was rare at one time. I don't know if that counts. And it might never have been rare, actually. Oh, it was rare in Eternal Masters and Vintage Masters. Okay. I don't know if that counts, though. Um, Baleful Strix is never rare. It was definitely rare in two sets. <laughs> Uh, I actually think it's really good for the deck. And it was rare. It's the same. It's like Popper Rolls, right? Like, I mean, if, if a card was uncommon, was common at any point, it counts. So I, I took it. Hopefully that's good. Hopefully that works. I, uh, Ponder was never rare, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's probably Baneslayer. We already have Lyra. I don't think it's Iona or Land Tax. Sun Titan. That's interesting. Rebel Arc, you can go over here. Chandra seems pretty good here, actually. Is Sun Titan better? I don't know. <clears throat> Sun Titan doesn't get anything for us. I think we just want the Chandra. Um, actually, Explosives could be fine. And we'll take Profane Command, because it is rare. Uh, Dark Confidant's never getting played ever. And he's tomorrow. All right. Chandra gonna write the word. Our deck seems pretty good. We can take out these two. Maybe we just play 18 lands. I can actually see that. Yeah, we got no, no equipment, which I think is fine. Ways to deal with Planeswalkers. We have Vindicate, Bedevil, um... We have Toxic Dealer's Damnation, Terminus, and Magister Worth. I almost like Fumigate better than Terminus, but I think it's still fine. Being able to randomly Miracle a Terminus is pretty nice. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sweet. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but all of our, all of our lands are playable. Uh, let's sort by color. All right, so... Let's see what we got here. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have one, two. Why do you keep going over here? That's so weird when you do that. We have one, two. Floodstrand gets steam vents. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think seven is fine. We only need two for Chandra and Explosion Expansion. Plus, we have Coalition Relic. All right, that's fine. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine is good. Plus coalition relic. White, we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I definitely want eight white. <clears throat> Let's see, I might cut a blue here. Three. Uh, Bloodstained Mire gets Watery Grave and Steam Vents. Blood Strang gets Steam Vents. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we're definitely going up four and two. This is too many lands. All right, we'll take out one planes. I think this is going to be fine. 18 lands. Feels weird. Do we have another two drops we want to put in? Stoneforge, Containment Priest, Dark Confidant, Great Marshal. No. Uh, as long as this is eight, I think this is eight way, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think eight way is fine. It's nine with Coalition Relic, so I think that's okay. This deck is interesting. We have a lot of Planeswalkers, though. I'll keep this hand. We have double white, double black, double blue, double red if we get a, uh, you know, steam vents. Don't think, don't think, what do we do? Do what do? Do what do? 
Oh no. Well, we're going to have a sad, ladies and gentlemen. No comment on my lawyer joke? I didn't see it. You're fine. However, it's not printed in the new modern set. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> I don't, I'm not responsible for that, though. Oh, they just put an Ulamog, but they didn't actually do anything with it. All right. Well, that's okay. Thank you. Here we go. Now they're going to... Sir Edge, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Oh, I wish I could discard Magister of Worth somehow. Welp. Looking for a Vindicate here. Nope, that's not going to do it. Yeah, this is bad. I think we might have just died. That ain't going to do it. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the next game because we're going to lose 20. And then uh, let's, you know, I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys the pleasure of, uh, so they would have went, they would have milled 20. One, two, three, four. Wait, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and we would have drawn the last card here. We would have drawn a swamp, so we would have died. Now we're going to bring in a containment priest because that's a good card. Uh, Terminus better than fumigate in this situation because it puts them on the bottom and uh, I think that's probably all I want I don't love this hand at all I'm going to mulligan this I'm going to keep this and we can put Dragon Lord Solengar on the bottom <sighs> keep Solengar seems they also went to six how'd the first draft go and with your love-hate relationship with the immortal sun do you think we'll see play in the only planes orcs come in or it's just too expensive at six i don't think it's too expensive at six at all i think the card's great and maybe it sees some play um the last draft we went two one zimini pot oh i see i see the problem with bedevil is that if you play any land that doesn't produce these two colors you're just hurting yourself Don't drink, don't smoke. I think we're just dead. And I don't think it's any any particular fault of our own. I think we're just a little too slow for the reanimate deck, but uh, yep, that's that's worse. We're basically a Mardu deck that's splashing blue, it seems like, based on this hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm always a two one is always just good enough for me. I'm like, that's fine. I won more than I lost. I got my entry fee back, and I had a good time. Oh, here we go. Discard a big fat idiot. Oh, and that just gets shuffled in. I wonder if they I wonder if they forgot about that. Or if they just didn't care. Wow, this is rough. Alright, well. This is also, yeah, this is with 18 lands, so, you know, through no fault of our own, I, I would imagine. I guess we did keep a six lander, but that feels like it shouldn't be a, or a six, a six card hand with one land. Um, do, we, do we get to play anything off of this? I'm tempted to just vindicate your Sheldock Isle because you actually don't have anything else. 
And we're definitely getting a land. And we're probably getting a red land. But we have to get a black or a white land. Ugh. So we either get red here. Yeah, we can't vindicate here. This one island is pretty problematic. I think I'd rather just have a red here. No, Sammy, it has nothing to do with your stip, buddy. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry. Our hand is great. No, this has nothing to do with the stip, my dude. Don't think that's not what you need to do. Imagine the take toxic damage. I would. Yeah, I mean, like this. Uh, yeah, so far we've they've had turn two Ulamog, and we haven't drawn uh, an appropriate number of lands. So neither of those are stip related. Oh, you're gonna read them bones? All right. Well, we're getting very close to uh, to twenty cards in their library. <sighs> Yikes for me, dog. Remember that time I had lands in my deck? J.K. No one does. So turn six, we've missed three land drops so far with eighteen lands in our deck. Don't drink, don't smoke, what do you do? Well, they have no creatures in the graveyard. Maybe there's just a really bad reanimate deck that got lucky. Is that a thing? Wait, they just added five mana and then we went to... Okay, well... <laughs> this is all very intriguing. Huh. Wow. Nickel bolus, huh? Okay. Jesus. Well, I have a feeling they're just gonna cast an Ulamog on us, and, and despite our uh, <laughs> our hand that is pretty prepared to deal with things like this, we are unprepared because of the. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Something broken is happening. Do I even want to copy that? I can't copy that. That's not an option. I mean, if they just put a gristle brand. Yeah, that's that's all I need to see. I'm good. I'm good with that. Yeah, I don't think there's any inherent problem with the deck per se. I think it was just a matter of like, well, if you can't hit four land drops in seven turns, you're going to feel bad. You're going to have a bad time. You're going to have a bad time. You are going to have a bad time.
See, this hand looks pretty okay. I'm okay with it. Oh, they went to six? Basically, I already won. Oh, and they're on the play? Oh, they're going to burn us out. Ew, don't drink, don't smoke. What do you do? This hand is amazing. Look, we have a uh, Lyra alt with a bunch of other angels. She's going to give this dude, this lady, lifelink and uh, plus one, plus one. That's pretty scary. Angel, 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 elder dragon. Are you drinking carbonated milk? No, I'm drinking water. That was a weird question. DJ Fap City, you need to go back to Fap City, buddy. You're being ridiculous. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. Enjoy your coalition relic. What? Well, now I wish I waited. I wonder what that would be like other than terrible. That's where I'm... That's what I'm leaning towards. Man, now I feel bad. I should have been like, oh, if you target... I, I always do things hastily. I, I've... For, for some reason recently, I've taken to like using abilities when the spell is on the stack not when the ability itself is on the stack I just it was beyond my comprehension that they would do anything but take the relic there so I have a soda stream and milk this can be solved I'm going to be honest with you I don't think that's going to be solving anything yep now we're going to add a thing Okay, now you did it. Yep, sure. Oh, don't drink, don't smoke, what do we do? Is this a cryptic command turn? Uh, it feels bad. I'm just going to attack first because I don't think I need the life. And if they have like cryptic command, they can go bounce counter. I'd rather just make sure we kill this. Yep, and... Well, I guess we could have played Lyra and they would have done that anyway, so. But now we might get to resolve Lyra, so that's pretty cool. We did it. We have blue, blue, red, and we need one more red for this expansion explosion. I'm waiting for them to target us with this. There you go, draw two. Oh, don't drink, don't smoke, what do you do? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, we can just kill it. Oh, is it non-artifact? Non-black. All right. All right. And then we still have mana for expansion if they wanted to do some nonsense. Uh, no, attack your face with these. Nope, that's going to Dak. And these are going to your face. Oh, don't drink, no smoke. Oh. 
All right. Well, that was good. Apparently, Lyra is a hell of a drug. Yo, Mitch. There was a YouTube comment today where someone was like, is his name Rob or is it Mike? I thought it was Mike. People don't actually know your name, Rob. It's definitely not a Cheers aesthetic. Where everybody knows your name. I'm actually tempted to take Coalition Relic out for Geist of St. Traft, but then again, I never want to take Coalition Relic out. Um, you can probably take out one of like the, the Wrath effects, though, for a... Bring it up oh, too late. Dang it. Everybody knows your baby face. I'm going to mulligan this hand because we don't have a single land that casts the Geist of St. Traft. Uh, I'll keep this hand, though. For sure keep. Um, let's get rid of this other mountain. So now we have, we have White Source. we got Water Grave. That's, that's good. That'll do. That is a... That's a bedevil if I ever saw one. The bedevil, you say. It's also a Geist of St. Draft if I ever saw one. All right. Well, looking good. Looking good. Some of them on the same hand. You want to go where everybody knows your name. You never look more handsome than when you were wearing my baby. F uh, buddy, I know it. I know it. It made me look in the mirror and reevaluate all the choices I've made during my lifetime. And we're always glad you came. Boom, boom, boom. Scalding Tarn. Here comes a rekindling Phoenix, right? No? Okay. Well, all these lands are good. Do you just want to trade with this dude? I don't know, man. I really want to bedevil it. Don't ever question yourself. Some baby faces were meant for bigger, more handsome things. Boy, don't I know it. Don't I know it. I'm going to bring this guy out. You can't cryptic. Dismiss is no longer in the cube. Okay. Oh, tell your daughter. Tell, uh, tell your daughter congrats on winning the softball game. Tell her Uncle Frank said congrats. Is this real? Are you really doing this? God, you think you know somebody, and then they're like, oh, I'm going to glory bring her. I actually like... Uh, yeah, this is actually going to be sweet. We can Obnixilus here. This guy's going to be uh, out of commission, and we can attack for like a million. So then they don't get to untap with this guy. We get to draw a card. We get to bedevil this if we'd like. Seems good. Thank you. Oh, nifty, Chris. That is a Franker's dozen. A Franker's Z dozen, if you will. Thank you so much, buddy. You are my favorite. Of the two Chris's I know, you are one of my two favorite Chris's. With a spelled K-R-I-S. Just attack for eight again? It seems good. Are they just dead? Doom, 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 doom. Doom, doo, doo, doo. Are you gonna flash a dude in? You're gonna you're gonna, is it charm a, a spirit token and they're gonna copy it with explosion expand? You're gonna dual caster mage it. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna kill both my tokens and block my geist, you're gonna take four. I think we're gonna Dragon Lord Silum guard this glory bringer. 
Now that you have like no cards, you have one card in hand. Yeah, that seems fine. It seems like it'd be hard for the red deck to deal with in uh, a 3-5. This is fine. Because you go to seven and then we'll have seven on board. Yep. All right. Well, seems good. And it's tapped. So even if they bounce this, they're still going to have a tapped Glorber. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Fight with fire. Well, that's good. Hmm. And they have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. Um, we can bedevil and play Gideon. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's that's lethal again next turn. So we'll play this. Take two. One, two, three. Kill you. We're doing this now because I don't want them to untap and draw like a counterspell or something. So 2-2 two, two ally and 5-5 five, five Gideon again is uh, five, 7 damage. What are your thoughts on the Japanese Planeswalkers? Actually, they've only asked once and I didn't have any thoughts because I, hadn't see I haven't actually seen them yet. Uh, I think they look awesome, but really stinks that they're... Yeah, are they like are they similar to the Chinese ones? Um, I think our opponent said something. Hide chat. I don't want to hide chat. I just want to see the chat, so I don't want to be rude. All right, well, I guess I'm forced to be rude. Anyway, we're doing pretty all right. Oh, all right. I'll click this link, and I will go find... Oh, wow. These look insane. Are these the same Planeswalkers, just with different art? Oh, some of these look really sick. Why are these only Japanese? That's insane. These look like altars. I mean, they, they are, a, in a sense, altars. These look great. Oh, wow. These are super cool. Oh, man. How do I get these? <laughs> and are they going to be a million dollars? If anybody has problems with wizards, like, making money, and I'm not saying anyone does in the chat, um, but every time someone's like, oh, no, man, another wizard's cash grab, I'm like, yes, Wizards of the Coast, Marvel Studios, you know, every company I love and enjoy, please make all of the cash grabs you like. Because here's the thing about cash grabs. I don't personally have to buy the things that you're trying to sell if I don't like them. If I do like them, then that's cool because I like them. And it helps you from not going out of business. And like, I don't know, like people people are so quick to forget that Marvel literally went bankrupt years ago. And that's why they had to sell the rights to X-Men and the Fantastic Four. And that's why you have this huge ordeal of getting uh, the Fantastic Four and the X-Men back from Fox because they went because Marvel went bankrupt. And uh, I want Marvel Studios, Marvel, Marvel Comics to do everything within their power to make as much money as they can so that I can continue to enjoy the things that they produce. It is, a, it is of no cost to me as a consumer if they make more products. I, I do not lose out the more things they make. I like this hand. We have a four drop, two five drops. We have this, we can't cast it. I don't know if I can keep it though. Are these, these are just in the packs? That's crazy, dude. Yeah, Marvel Comics, before there was a Marvel Studios, uh, they went bankrupt years ago because the comic industry wasn't doing that great. Um, but yeah, you look at Marvel now and they're flourishing. But again, like, please keep it up. Do whatever you got to do. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I don't love it. This is actually better. We're going to have to keep bottoming this nickel bolus. Which makes, makes me sad, but, you know. It's part of life. Sadness is just a part of life. Yeah, 
yeah so it's nice like be because you know marvel got just recently got back fantastic four and uh and x-men it's almost like the it's almost like closing that chapter that that dark 90s early 2000s bankruptcy chapter where marvel had to sell these beloved properties um you know and so like it's nice that we can like close the book on that I mean, I, I, you know, Sony still has uh, the Spider-Man properties, but it's actually just fine because, you know, the Spider-Man movies are fine and they're part of the MCU. So it's like, I don't even mind. I'm like, you know, if Sony wants to make the Spider-Man movies and, and maintain their MCU status, sure, that's totally cool. It bugged the crap out of me that Fox was making X-Men movies that had no connection because it just seems like a bad decision. And, you know, lo and behold, it was not a super... Uh, productive decision you know so you don't even have to like the thing is the thing about these planeswalkers is that you don't have to like the art style per se you know like you don't have to love the art style it's just nice that there's another option also like the tamio or uh yeah this is tamio right like the tamio with the uh the scrolls coming out of the out of the border and all the way down here is super cool they're just so they're just really flavorful it's got a good they got a good flavor one two three four five i actually kind of want to kill this but i don't think it's a great idea because i don't want them to play primeval titan next turn i guess we could steal it with angrath if we hit a land 18 lands come on boy come on 18 land deck nothing like getting my face <laughs> Oh, I see. Well, this is getting scary now. Oh, believe me, every day, uh, every day, I wait for the announcement of a Fantastic Four slash Doctor Doom reveal for the MCU. Every day. I hope it's a secret. I hope it's a really big secret and that it just shows up in an end credit scene. That's what I'm hoping. That's my biggest hope. I don't want to know who they're casting for the Fantastic Four. I don't want to know who they're casting for Doctor Doom. I want to see a sign that says Latveria 200 miles or something. I want to see Reed Richards stretch an arm out and grab something and be like, I heard you needed a hand. You know, some kind of like super sweet reveal that that no one expects, right? Like, because at the end of like, think of like, think back at like the end of the Incredible Hulk movie where with Edward Norton and then like Tony Stark is Iron Man. This is, this is pre-Iron Man. Tony Stark is Iron Man just shows up and Sam Ross is talking to him, and like there was just this cool moment of uh, Sam Ross. Is that his name? General Ross. I forgot his name. Yep. All right. Well, they took six out of this, and we still get to Angrath it if we hit a land. We don't get to kill it, but we do get to we get to put them to to a very low life total. Yeah, I mean, as far as Hulk movies go, I actually didn't I didn't mind that Hulk movie. Come on, Angrath, one time. It's too good to be true. They have no cards in hand, though. So, like... Eh. Give Vidge. Oh, I've been so much damage. But they're on a three-turn clock, and they have no cards in hand. And they didn't get any creature lands. Uh, J J uh, John Krasinski from The Office is my number one pick for Mr. Fantastic. I could only hope that that's, that's what it ends up being. That would be fantastic. L l no pun intended. Just because he's really coming into his own as like an actor, a director, uh, a presence in, in, in Hollywood. And uh, I think that would be super cool. I was like, oh, uh... A bold strategy. Oh, that was that was not a hit. Oh, you are on a, a two turn clock, my gentleman friend. Um, um, what can we do here? Dwight as Doom. You know what? Probably not. Probably not. We can play Bane Slayer. Um, we can also just play Angrath and put them to two, which means uh, Explosion Expansion kills them if we hit another blue. 
Like, they basically have one hit, but if they hit, like... The thing is, if they hit any creature, they can turn... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They can turn it into Crater Hoof, but this would be tapped, and this would be tapped, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 mana for the Crater Hoof. 1 to activate the Shaman. So they would actually have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Uh, it's not it's not the best. Also, they'd have to get rid of this anyway, so they're basically dead. I think we're just going to actually play Steam Vents Tapped, play Soren, and make a 1-1. One, one. Goes up to 4, so they don't actually have powerful enough to... They don't have powerful enough to beat it. <laughs> Whatever that means. I could see us killing the, the Fauna Shaman as well, but... I mean, there's nothing they can really draw that I'm super afraid of, because Crater Hoof doesn't... Uh, Shut up and take doesn't money. do it, and that's like the scariest. Barizzi, hey, I'm the YouTube guy who wanted to celebrate and register with the BBC style nature narration for the game. I sent an email a couple of times, but they didn't go through. Just take this money and continue making awesome improv content. Dude, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. And I will actually, oh, oh, I, I like this. I respect this going out on their own terms. Um, I will also definitely consider making this, this BBC style, uh, nature style narration that sounds it sounds funny my only my only uh concern is being able to keep it up so as long as i can do that i think we're good to go uh do you still write for channel fireball i like your articles but i haven't seen uh no i haven't written for channel fireball in like two years um i was i've been streaming for uh a year now and uh, you can also find me over at coolstuffinc.com so Oh my God, Kevin as the thing and Michael as the human torch. All of these sound. One of those. One of those suggestions sounds good. The other one sounds eh, not as so not as so hot. They're gonna reanimate. I think we're just gonna bring in containment priest again. Um, I do like the number of of sweepers we have here. I kind of want fumigate instead of terminus though. God, Nicobolus, you have not. You have yet to be cast, my friend. Nicobolus is nobody's friend. If Nicol Bolas was an ice cream flavor, he'd be pralines and dick. That's from Wayne's World, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, this hand seems great. <laughs> Any hand with Toxic Deluge against the green deck, I'm okay with. All right. All right, all right. We do need a second red and a second white or black, but we do have Coalition Relics, so we actually kind of don't need that. Oh, look what I found. I'm going to play this because I don't... If they, uh, if they have an answer for Coalition Relic, I don't really feel like dealing with that. Just don't, oh boy, oh boy, buttery biscuits, blah. Woodfall Primus, Ulamog, is this really going to happen twice in one draft? At least if it's animate dead, we can kill it. Just be an animate dead. Don't be an exhum or reanimate. Okay, that's fine. I accept that. Oh, we actually, I guess we could Toxic Deluge it too. Yeah, you know, just casual take 10 damage to, uh. You know, like you do. Like you do. Um, I guess we're just going to Coalition Relic here. We don't have to kill this Liliana yet. Is 
Is it sad that I can hear Rob singing The Dream is Dying when you said Bolas has yet to be cast? I, uh, yes. Yes, that is sad. Are they going to... I was like, are they going to hit their own dude with this? They did not. So we get to uh, add a mana. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana total. We can actually play Chandra. Is that good? I don't know. We can also play Lava Claw. Let's add a white. We can play Lava Claw, play Seraph, and then keep up. I like that. Keep up Coalition Relic. Yep, had a feeling you might do that. Are they getting in here? Ooh, aggressive. Very aggressive. Okay, seems good. Let's see what you get. Three call, three, three call, three cards. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Did Frank say good things? I totally did. I totally said tons of good things. Barizzi, you are awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. And I also said I would likely try to get to this uh, this nature step as soon as I can. Uh, I could probably try it on Wednesday. Because tomorrow I'm going to be doing uh, the arena thing all day. Either way, it's going to go up on YouTube, so... Yep, that is fine. Uh, let's put a Chargy Boy on there. It's going to be an Explosion Expansion. You ready? Oh, Malicious Affliction. Malicious Affliction. Uh, malicious Afflickish. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, I'm pretty sure we're actually just going to make a Chandra here. A Shandy girl. Whatever that means. And then we can attack for five at Lily. That's pretty strong. They only have two power on board. <laughs> they said fair. <laughs> so they block one. If they want to trade with Fauna Shaman, that's fine. I don't think they do. Or do you? We be live streaming it tomorrow. Oh, live streaming at hundred percent. Yeah, it's a streamer event. When is cube over? Cube is over on Thursday, so Wednesday will be the last cube that we end up doing. Thursday is the last cube day, and then Friday they're introducing all the War of the Spark things, or that might be Thursday. I'm not sure. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I'm very tempted to... to Toxic Deluge here, but... Uh, exile them at the beginning of the end step. That's unfortunate. I really want to trigger this. Morbid is what? Uh, if a creature died this turn... I guess I mean, we could vindicate this and then malicious affliction both of these guys that leaves them with nothing on board one two so we can go like this um actually we want to we want to vindicate this first right because then they sack this in response so then we kill this Have you been talking to the Ben Ben Vesta? Ben, what is that? What is that, Sammy? What are you saying right now? And I'm gonna hit your friend. And then we're gonna deal a million damage here. If you buy like three boxes, you would earn enough wild cards to build any stand. That I think that's true, yeah. Yes. Your friend. 
put them both. And we have Toxic Deluge if they happen to have, like, a way to get Ulamog back. But re we're going to put them in a position where, like, Reanimate's not going to cut it. Oh, the Bethesda guys. Uh, not recently. What's this about never having removal when you need it? It's, uh... I promise this is rare. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make two gentlemen. Or ladies. Depends on... Alright, so reanimate is no longer an option for Ulamog. You can reanimate the Whisperwood. Oh, I see. Well then. Are they still dead? Maybe? Uh, yeah, I think they're still dead. We can actually Toxic Deluge for 6 here. And then activate... Uh, Toxic Village for one, two, three. Yeah, we're, yeah. This is this game. As long as they don't have a one mana thing. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Deluge for six. Seraph makes some token boys. Uh, let's activate this guy. One, two, three. Put these guys up here. Attack with everything for nine. Uh, creature gets plus one, two. Actually, we only need to do it for one, right? So might as well leave the uh, coalition relic up <laughs> in case they have something here. Come on, go through. All right, sweet, Sammy. 2-1. Remember that time you were like, hey, I guess the stip wasn't that good? It turns out it was pretty all right. That deck was sweet. That was a good time. That was like, uh, that was a pretty solid control deck, I think. Uh, tons of Planeswalkers, tons of removal, tons of sweepers, all kinds of things. Sammy, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. Link and the, and the promo code are in the description. Check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. Check me out at coolstuffinc.com, and I will check you guys out later. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.